you can't really tell from these two examples, but I believe that raised garden beds grow the best veggies. Yeesh. So I realize I'm not really selling the idea of raised garden beds very well by showcasing these two beds. Yep. Yep. As they're nearing their end of life for this particular crop rotation, they're probably not the best example to showcase the benefits of gardening in a raised bed. Nonetheless, I've done both. You know, I've farmed conventionally right into the ground and I've farmed using raised beds. And I've got about 82 raised beds on the farm here and I'll never go back to farming straight into the ground. So why is that? You know, right off the bat with raised beds, you've got a couple disadvantages. Number one, they're more expensive to set up. You know, you're gardening in the ground, you just simply garden in the ground, away you go, no cost at all. Number two, they're more work initially. Even if you're not building your own, you still gotta go buy it, and then you gotta go buy soil and fill them up. That's all a lot more work than simply starting your own garden plot right in the ground. But after those two hurdles are done, that's where the extra work ends. And that's where you start to see the benefits of gardening in a raised bed as opposed to straight into the ground. So as I sit here on my dying squash bed, I'd like to give you my top five reasons of why gardening in a raised bed is better than gardening straight into the ground. So reason number one is better aeration and better drainage. You know, regardless of whether or not you've placed that bed on a hard pan or on a clay surface, it will always drain better and have more air throughout its soil profile than that existing soil plot. And as we know for plants, particularly our veggie plants, they don't like to stand in water and the yields are maximized when they have access to more oxygen. Reason number two, better soil. You know, raised beds, they obviously start out empty, so you have to fill them. So you can fill them with the best quality soil mixture that will put any garden plot to shame. Now, of course, garden plots can be amended over time to have fantastic soil profiles, but your raised garden bed starts that way from day one. Reason number three, less pests. You know, as evident by my green lettuce here, if this lettuce was in the ground, it would just be demolished by slugs and white cabbage butterflies. But because it's 16 inches off the ground, it takes a lot more work for those slugs to reach those plants. And I'm finding that my veggies and my garden as a whole needs far less pest control. And reason number four, and this is a big one, you know, raised garden beds, they get warmer faster. You know, because they're above the grade of the land, the sun heats up that soil faster. You can actually extend your growing season a month on either side of where frost occurs. You know, this zucchini plant is a perfect example. It is late August and it is just starting to come into its own. When most of the zucchini plants around here, and there's about 30 of them, I'm gonna start cutting them down by September 1st. You know, this guy was a late volunteer. I plan to keep it going well into October. And I couldn't do that if it was planted straight into the ground. So now we get to my main advantage of gardening and raised beds, and that's accessibility. It is so much easier to harvest your vegetables, to weed, to plant seeds, to plant starters, to mulch in a bed that's 12 to 16 inches off the ground than it is to do it at the grade of the land. You know, after a couple of hours of working at this height, instead of working down at the ground level, your back is just thanking you. Accessibility, it is my main reason for gardening in raised beds. So that's it for today's video, guys. That's just a few of the advantages that raised garden beds have over gardening straight into the ground. You know, I've done both. When I first started this farm, I had hundreds of square feet 
a regular garden plot. And it wasn't until probably year two that I put in my first four raised garden beds. And once I did that, I never looked back. Probably by year 3.5, I had over 50 raised beds on the farm. And I would say now, it's probably not too long until I hit 100 garden beds. Really, it, it's the way to go. It saves you time, it saves you money, and it grows you better vegetables. You know, I wish I could have a video that lists the top 100 reasons to farm and raise beds, but I've only got so much time to spend on each topic, so hopefully my top five can convince you. As always, leave some questions or comments down below. Do you guys garden and raise beds? If so, do you like it? Do you prefer it? Do you do both? What kind of designs do you have for your garden beds? You know, throw a link to your videos down below. I'll watch them, I'll comment on them. Anything to do with raised garden beds, I'm all over it. Anyway guys, thanks for watching. Click subscribe if you haven't already. For those of you that have, I do appreciate the support. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys next time. Oh hey look, a cabbage butterfly. Awesome. Get out of here. Go. Be gone. Well, I guess you're pollinating. But you better not lay any eggs.